put your hand up if you captained Harry Kane. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football. It's time for a review of Game Week 8. But before we get on to my players, I just want to say that Game Week 8 was the worst and the most stressful game week I have had this season. Even though I still did well, but I... Oh. Okay, basically what I did, I bought in Harry Kane. Uh, I took my first um, minus four points and it felt good in the beginning because I, I wanted to take a risk uh, because of the the situation that I was in. I was around 14,000. I was thinking, you know what? If I get Harry Kane, right, and I kept in him, I already have Hazard. If Kane does well, and Hazard's, you know, pretty much going to do well anyway because he's on form, then I could be under that 10,000 mark, which will be incredible. But what happened? Kane blanked. And um, yeah, that strategy did not work. It was such a painful to watch um you know Tottenham versus Cardiff it was just it was just so painful and I just wanted to get that out for you guys to hear what how I'm feeling before I get on to my players and I think you know what it is you know what it is I, I took a risk I gambled no 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 I was greedy I was so greedy that I went for Kane and yeah, I, I was just greedy. That is it. I was just a greedy pig and it didn't pay off and I've been punished. And these things happen, guys. Sometimes you, you know, sometimes you need to take a risk. You need to take a little bit of a risk to try something not completely different, but, you know, try something. Yeah, try something that you wouldn't do. I did something like a punt on Kane just for one week and it did not work out. These things happened. And if it did, then, well, it would have been a completely different story. But, oh, well, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, we are in the international week, so we can rest. Well, I guess a lot of people will be bored. But what I want to do is, so we've got a couple of days without FPL. I thought I'll create a few more videos for you guys. So I've got a few transfer options coming up uh, on our next video. And uh, yeah, I've got a few plans, so um, watch out for them. And that's about it. Uh, yeah, let's continue. So as you can see for game week eight, I got 64 points. If you minus the four points, that means I got 60 overall, which is above the average, which is fantastic. But in that top 10K, a lot of people had, I think the average was around 60 to 65 and above. So... It, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. I, I'm I'm still happy. I'm still happy the fact that I'm still in a decent uh, mark. Um, but yeah, let's continue. Um, dropped a few thousand places, so I'm 21,000k, which is not bad. Let's go into my players and see how well they did. As you can see, my goalkeeper, my set and forget goalkeeper has done fantastic again. Nine points. This goalkeeper is doing really well. Uh, I think it's just not the, the goalkeeper. It's their defence as well. they got an incredible defence. Defence that could do really well. Get you them incredible points. So yeah, Wolves doing really well. Um, nine points from my goalkeeper. Very, very like... Like it's a dream to have a cheap goalkeeper. Set and forget as well. That does something really, really good. Alonso, my expensive defender, six points, you know, he's bringing some of the points. Uh, of course, I always want that assist, that that goal that could get him up to 10 to 15. But these things happen, it's fine, six, I'm not going to complain. Now, with Wan-Bissaka, basically, I took, 
I, I took a safe option. I would have took a risk with bringing Harry Kane. I took a safe option with this. Uh, which didn't work out. But I took a safe option. I thought, you know what? At least one of them um, team would basically will get one of the clean sheets. And I'll be really happy. Trippier. Again, bringing the points. Uh, clean sheet and one bonus point. Because, you know, he's, he's creating chances. He's taking corners. Which is fantastic. Um, yeah, really, really happy the fact that I, I bought him in. Uh, I think I bought him in after the Brighton game where I got that like, 11 points as well. So, so far, it's looking really good. Now, no card. So, basically, I needed a cheap option in the midfield. And I wanted to, I wanted to save the money um, so I can try and bring uh, other players uh, in game week 9 and game week 10 especially. And Knockout was pretty much one of those um, that cheap option that could do well. I'm afraid this time he did not bring any points in. So Brighton's fixtures are still good. Um, I'm not too disappointed. It would have been a bonus if he actually got something. But this time he did not. And Hazard. Oh. 14 points. My original um, team that I had. And the strategy that I could have done was Captain Hazard. And he would have got me 14 points more. Plus, if I didn't take that four points, it's going to be 18. Oh, oh, so many points I lost this week. Oh, God. It's fine. These things happen. Oh, it would have been amazing if I actually got them points. Yeah, I took a risk and it did not pay off. And uh, Madison with two I expected more from him from this week, but, you know, can't really complain too much. He's still got great fixtures. Mane? Oh, I mean, what can we say about Mane? Well, I don't know what's going on. He just gave up on scoring. Um, yeah, not, not, it's not 9.9. is expensive still. But Liverpool's fixtures are turning and turning into great fixtures. So I, I can't get rid of a Liverpool player right now. Even if it's for money. And as for Fulham. No wonder why the strikers can't do well. Because the Fulham's defence is, is not good guys. It's not good. Be careful bringing any Fulham players. However though. However. Their fixtures. Are. Are incredible. Because they're playing against Cardiff. Bournemouth and Huddersfield. I mean, Bournemouth it might, be, might be a little bit more difficult, but this gives a Fulham a chance to actually do well, to maybe get some points on the board. And I don't think I can remove this guy right now, so I might have to stick by. And Wilson saved my game week. Oh, wow. Incredible. 14 points. How did this even... Well... I mean, I know how it happened because, you know, Watford, you know, got a red card. So they were playing with 10 men. But still, Wilson just bringing these 14 points. I did not expect him to do this. I thought, you know, it was going to blank and it was going to piss me off. But no, incredible. 14 points. He could have got even more. Fantastic. He saved my team. I'm so glad that I still holding him. Because he's, he's been bringing some of the stuff, you know, he's been bringing the assists and the goals right now. He's got three goals and seven assists, which is incredible. So, yeah, Wilson actually saved my team. So happy. And Harry Kane. My worst decision so far is bringing Harry Kane into my team. <sighs> yeah, it, it was bad. But these things happen. Let's move on. And, uh, yeah, two points. Pretty damn, well, it's even worse because I got Richarlison on my bench. I benched him because I've just thought that Leicester might do a little bit more better than Everton. But seeing that Richarlison's playing out front, oh my god, that's going to give him more chance to score, more chance to assist. So definitely, definitely someone to look for, guys. Uh, Alexander Ard was on my bench. Basically, I, I benched him, got benched him as well, and Bennett with seven. So that was my team review. I'm glad that I, I got the points that I needed to kind of stay around the top uh, 100k. 
Um, I am disappointed, but I'm, I, I could, it could have been worse. So I'm kind of relieved a little bit as well. And uh, yeah, these things happen. And uh, yeah, let's move on to game week nine because there is going to be a lot of decisions to be made. I haven't made any decisions so far. These transfers or these substitutes are not in the correct order. I repeat, they're not in the correct order. I'm just basically, you know, changing players around, looking around, see who might do well, who I should bring in, who I should kind of bench. You guys let me know what I should do. And I don't want to go through some of the transfers um, in this video because I am going to talk about a few stuff in the next video and so on. I got one transfer and I got 1.9 in the bank. So I've got a lot of money in the bank that I can actually bring a good player into my team. Now, I'm just having a quick look. I've got 8.7 so I can bring in the striker if I wanted to. But it's quite difficult to get 8.7 player. Uh, midfielder, let's see my cheap. 7.4, I guess someone like Ramsey maybe trying getting into that Arsenal team. Um, let's see if I remove Madison for now. 8.6, I can't. I mean, Silva, I guess I need a Manchester City player. So, yeah, looking through some of these fixtures, the one that stands out obviously is this Manchester City game against Burnley. So, I need a Manchester City player, and I think I need to go back and get Aguero. Um, now, the only way to get that player is actually to remove Harry Kane. It was my plan already to, you know, remove him uh, just to have him for one week. And if I do that, so I have at least one Manchester City player and I still have 0 0.3 in the bank. So that's a lot of money. I'm saving that for something else. And so basically this could be the final decision uh, near the end because, we, you know, we're in the international league. Anything can happen. There's going to be a lot, probably a lot of injuries, people coming back from international games. But this is the player that I'm thinking about. Either him or Ramsey. And if I bring uh, a Manchester City player like him, then I will captain Aguero. And yeah, that will be set uh, for game week nine. Now, you know, I could still make an additional transfer if I wanted to. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick here. Okay, 9.9. I could make another transfer if I want to. I can go and get Lacazette because right now, you know, Arsenal has turned the tides and Lacazette is just playing well. I spoke about Lacazette so many times. After game week four, I used my wildcard, right? And I spoke about Lacazette. You know, I spoke about bringing him into my team and look how many points he's returned in every single match after that, which is incredible. Um, could it continue? Well, let's have a quick look. The fixtures are decent enough. Yes, they do have that Liverpool game at home, but still decent games, guys. Decent games for him to do well. So I think this will be, I I'll probably will make one transfer at least, but I will wait. I might even keep Kane. I I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. Let me know how well your team did. Uh, how many points that you got. Did you make any crazy transfers like me? So let's just see if this video is going to get up to about 100 likes. It would be incredible to continue. And yeah, just thank you so much, guys. Enjoy your little break. I know it's going to be a little bit boring, but I'm going to try and post in as much as videos as possible. And one other thing as well. One other thing. If you're watching to the end, do, do you have a Twitch account? Because if you have a Twitch account, let me know in the comments below. I'll, I'll write a comment. I like that. I want to see how many people has got Twitch accounts because I want to try and talk to you guys, you know, on Twitch because it's just more easier and there's more other options as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tons of videos coming through and that is about it. See ya.